your brief but first appearance uh, the yeah dude it was uh it was amazing um it was uh i didn't know if i was gonna pitch so i was in the bullpen kind of running around and uh trying not to tire myself out and um coach told me to get hot i got hot and then in the game, and then I, the game was over. So uh, it was uh, kind of like a blur, but it was really, really fun. Is, is that maybe a good scenario to kind of you know just get it out of the way, and now you can go do your thing like normal? Yeah, I think um, I think it might. I'm gonna get used to it for sure. Um, but yeah, the first one, I think, just staying relaxed. Like there was a lot of people, but my heart wasn't really like beating too fast. Um, I felt really controlled out there. So. I think I'm kind of used to it now, yeah. You feel good? Yeah. Nikki, you said you're going to be starting tomorrow. Just uh, what, what does that opportunity mean to you to see your first start in Alex Box, even though you threw last week? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm super excited. Um, you know, with, with uh, Coach Johnson and, and Coach Yeski, it's we've been conservatively kind of ramping myself up. And now that I'm able to start and, and get some innings in there, um, I'm super pumped about it. And Yeah, it'll be fun. How many innings are you looking to go, or how many pitches? Um, I would say close to around 45, 50, um, two, hopefully three, if, if I'm pretty efficient. Um, so yeah. I know they, you know, obviously, the plan here is to kind of ramp you up and continue to kind of build yourself uh, up uh, pitch-wise. I mean, just um, got one inning of work last weekend. Do you know kind of what the I guess, loose plan is for you this weekend in terms of how long they want you to go? Uh, yeah, I think. Like I said, um, two, maybe go out for the third or something like that, and then I'll uh, kind of finish up with some more volume and go on the side after. Um, and then for the weeks coming forward, I'm not sure. So, yeah. That's going to be different, right? I mean, like, you knew the situation you were going in, so did you go max out, or, like, how does that? Uh, I, I mean, I was, I was ready in, like, the fourth. Um, <laughs> so uh, once, once I wasn't in the fourth and he kind of said, Kind of lay low. You probably, if you're gonna throw, it's gonna be pretty much the end of the game. And at that point, I was okay. How can I not exert energy, but also keep my body warm? Um, so I got a little fatigued. I think just I've never really done that before. Um, I mean, at UCLA, I started in the bullpen, but it was kind of like, hey, you're throwing the seventh um, or something like that. And then, but yeah, I mean, it's. Uh, I felt good. I think for the. For how long I was warming up, I felt really good. But it's also weird because, like, you're coming back from injury, mm -hmm. but you, so you have to kind of watch it. But then you exactly. see short periods of yeah. for it. I think it was all on feel. I mean, yeah. Coach and uh, Drew Finley were walking back and forth, talking about. I was like, "Hey, I feel good." Like, if I didn't feel good, I would let you know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I could have thrown another inning if I wanted to, but it was the last inning. What did, uh, sorry, uh, what did you learn about the staff this past weekend? Obviously, I think a lot of us came in with expectations of what it could look like, and it turned out to be something maybe a little different. It just mm -hmm. looks like there's a lot of options, I guess. Going yeah, there are a lot of options. Um, I think as a staff, um, we did okay, I think. I think our, our level, or we have a high, we're a lot better than we were. Um, and so Coach Yeski and us, you know, we're going to meet and talk. He already has some things put in plan on how we can get better. Um, even if everyone did strike everyone out and give up like one or two runs, like there's still things we had to work on. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm super happy with this staff. I think there's a lot of depth and a lot of options. It's going to be awkward because you just walked in, but tell us about Fidel and what kind of dude he is. Really good, man. I remember seeing him right when he uh, came here in the fall, and I was like, this, this guy's real. Um, he's from NorCal, so we're kind of from the same cloth, and uh, super good guy, and I'm super happy he's on my team. Similar deal with Steven Milam. Mm -hmm. you see it, I mean, he's a freshman. We just talked to Aiden about that. It doesn't look like a freshman. Like when, when you see a West Coast guy here in the South with some of those traits, it stands out a little bit more, you know? And so, like, you see that grit, like, kind of right away. You obviously a lot more used to that, but just what do you see in him being so young and pretty, pretty yeah. impressive early? Uh, I mean, I, I really like guys that play hard with kind of an edge, and he's definitely one of those guys. So, yeah, he's real. Even said you terrorize people as a young kid, and that's how you got the nickname Monster? Yeah, I think uh, I'm not too sure about that, but I mean, it's a it's a pretty good nickname. Yeah. yeah. Strong. Do you have fun with your last name? Uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm just really used to it now. Um, I mean, when I was younger, I'd go to like a, a trampoline park, and it would night it would be like cool last name or something. But at this point, um, I mean, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Yeah. Um, the walkout songs, I tried to incorporate some kind of jump in it. Um, 
but uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's unique, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I think it's, I mean, I'm, I think I've known one person with Jump as their last name, but that's, that's kind of it. Well, it's also your brother, right? So yeah. how much has he sort of like helped you, um, I guess inspired you to become like a baseball player and all, all that sort of stuff? Yeah, my, uh, my dad and my brother, um, we would always be at the field growing up, so baseball was really the only thing I wanted to do. I fell in love with it really early on and, and seeing my brother play um, in college when I was in high school, I, I really wanted to go to college and then seeing him go to the SEC and play against all these good schools and then um, kind of that deal, I, I really wanted to do that. So yeah, he's been he's been huge and you know I can't think of enough. Is he three or four years older than you? Uh, he's four. Yeah, he's four years older, so he's 24. Did you guys ever get to play on the same team or anything like that? Uh, no, no. We went to uh, different high schools um, and yeah, we didn't. But he, but he's the one who sort of put the idea of going coming to the SEC in your mind. Like, how seriously did you take that at first when he yeah, mentioned that? Yeah, I mean, that? I was definitely thinking about it, and then I really talked to him about it, and he was the one that kind of told me some things about actually how the SEC is, and I think um, he really helped me kind of push the ball forward. Mm -hmm. was that, uh, was no. the first time in the box, like, I think you talked about the air squads or whatever before, but just the crowds and kind of coming from where coming from, did it? Yeah, it was... Uh, <laughs> Well, I was, I was out there for BP, and there was a couple people, and I was like, okay, this is kind of a good crowd. And then I went into the lab to kind of warm up, and then I went back out right before the game. It was completely different. I was like, whoa. Um, and then, yeah, I think I got kind of used to it. And then in the ninth inning, um, it was weird. I didn't even, like, see the crowd. Um, kind of blacked out a little bit, but it was uh, fun, yeah. That's customary for you guys to warm up a bit in the pitching lab in you know the early innings before coming out there late later in the game right yeah i think for everyone's body's different so for me i know it kind of takes me a little longer um especially when i'm used to a starter routine um so i would just warm up a little bit earlier but some people can get hot in like 10 minutes in your relief outing what which of your pitches do you feel like was sort of working the best for you yeah only through 11 pitches so <laughs> let's say the fastball um so yeah, I think everything's feeling comfortable, but there's a small, small sample size. Yeah, that first pitch, I mean, just right before what was going through your mind, and obviously you commanding it the way that you did. I mean, just just that one particular moment, like how did that feel? Um, I think the last pitch was honestly a, a, it was, I don't know how to explain it. It was a lot different than the first one. The first one for me was just a pound of strike, um, and I remember running from the bullpen to the mound. Um, I was I was pretty locked in. And so once I saw Brady behind the plate, I was like me and you. Um, and then it was kind of just a, a quick flow state. And then to the last pitch, um, then the game was over. Yeah. Like riding a bike. Yeah, like riding a bike. Yeah. If you have a preference on who catches you, I know pitchers and catchers, you get accustomed or comfortable. Is there anybody that you're more comfortable with already? Um, I think that was Brady's first time catching me, to be honest. Um, and then Hayden is, is really, really good. And Alex is really, really good. So. Um, you know, on this team, there's there's three really really good catchers. So I don't have one I, I single out. I mean, I, if one of them catches, I'm gonna I'm gonna really think they're the best. I mean, Al's got a cannon. Um, so yeah, I mean that they're all really good. Are you working on growing out the stash? Uh, I don't know. I think we'll see. I'll probably shave it in a couple of days. Yeah. <laughs> I had to ask. We so, had yeah. the mustache. Yeah, we're gonna do the yeah, Fidel's with him, so. coming in after. Yeah. 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 No, it's 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 real. It's uh it's good. Yeah. I mean, Skeens came in, didn't have a stash, mm -hmm. and then ended with a stash, so that's why I didn't Yeah, yeah that's true, yeah. <laughs> uh, with your injury, Gage, uh, what was the mental um, side like for you in the recovery process? Was there any frustration in the year and a half while you were out? Yeah, um, I think anyone that goes through TJ, it's very, very frustrating. Um, so the, the first week, or right when I got it, was the worst part. Um, just knowing I'm going to be out for that long. And then for me, it was kind of, I realized like this is a very important step in my life um, for baseball. And I can kind of propel myself into a, a better spot um, by just bet bettering myself. So I just developed a plan and then kind of kept my mind busy trying to figure different things out and what I could improve on during that time. So I feel like there wasn't time wasted. It was just kind of, I kept myself busy throughout the, the whole thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was tough in the beginning. Yeah. Was there anybody specifically that was there for you to make it easier? 
parents. Um, I mean, showering with the cast on's tough, um, but uh, yeah, my family was, was really helpful.